What's up? Welcome to Wanderlusting Lawyer. I know this is a pretty weird way to start a video, but I wanted to say hi because then I'm going to turn the camera and show you guys everything I'm bringing with me on my Camino Inglés, which I start tomorrow from Ferrol. I'm staying in the Parador in Ferrol tonight. Paradores are a system of really uh, cool hotels in Spain where they've taken basically historic buildings and turned them into um, really not always fancy but really cool hotels. This is actually my first time staying in one and then I will be treating myself to the Parador in Santiago when I get there on Sunday. If you've seen the movie The Way, you know they stay at the one in Leon, which I've heard is just incredible. But I just wanted to say a quick hello and also give a shout out to Anna from Las Vegas, who I actually met, who recognized me in Santiago this morning when I was there uh, wandering around before catching my bus to Ferrol. So it was so great to meet you. Congrats on finishing your Camino del Norte. Um, and I hope I see more of you guys out there when I'm walking. So let's go into the other room. I'm gonna use one of my poles to point things out and this is basically just gonna be a video of what I'm bringing. Um, I'll be walking for five days, about 120 kilometers. What's funny about that is that I'm bringing more stuff than in some cases than I might otherwise because I'm like, eh, I only have to walk five, five days and then I'm bringing less stuff than I might otherwise because eh, I'm just walking five days. Again, this is just what I want for me. Um, yours might look really differently, but hopefully this helps you get an idea of uh, the types of things you may want to think about bringing. All right. So it's probably going to stay blurry here for a second while I get set up here. But we will start with my pack. You may notice this is a different pack than I've used on my last two Caminos. This is the Kelty red wing women's 50 liter pack um, a lot of people you know advocate for packs between 30 and 40 liters i previously used a 36 liter pack on my camino and this time i actually purposefully wanted to try a bigger pack um, because i wanted to see how more pockets for organization uh, affect my ability to get ready in the morning i am so unbelievably slow in the morning and um I just wanted to try something different. This was on sale at REI, actually. I don't know if they still make the model. I really like it so far. It held up great on my 16-kilometer training hike I did in France. Um, I'm going to do a video just on this pack and kind of how I've come around on certain features I thought I really wanted or didn't think were important. But for now, yes, 50 liters. I'm loving how I get it organized. I'm loving how, even though it weighs a little more um, even empty, it feels very solid on my back. These are just some packing cubes. You've already seen my video, hopefully, about the Eagle Creek um, two-sided packing cube, which I love for my clothes. That's where my clothes will go. This is for undergarments, and this is for odds and ends. All right, we'll start with the clothes. This is my rain jacket, and I'm not going to show everyone or really any of them. I'm going to do more detailed videos after the Camino about, you know, in segments like my clothing, uh, footwear, things like that. But this is just meant to be an overview of everything that's coming with me. So this is my raincoat. I'm going with a different raincoat this time that I got on sale at Kohl's with Eddie Bauer. I like that it's longer and covers my butt, and they... There it looks like there's some rain in the forecast, so I just wanted to take something that I thought might keep me drier. It does not have pit vents, though. It does not have the zips in the armpits, so I'm hoping I won't overheat if I need to wear it. But again, five days, and there's never a decathlon that's a you know out of taxing range if I need a poncho or something. This is the Cotopaxi Hybrid um, Fleece Puffer I'm bringing. Just made a video about that if you want to check it out. I'm really happy with it so far. This is the same long sleeve shirt um, from Marmot that has accompanied me now. This will be on my third Camino. I like its loose fit because it can go over other t-shirts um, easily for good layering. This is a button down. Uh, I believe it's Eddie Bauer. Also got it through Kohl's. I like that it's kind of, I mean, you've seen it in some of my videos if you've been watching them recently. It's good for the trail, but also at night if I want something I guess a little nicer um, than 
This is a merino wool t-shirt by Bombas that I got on sale on eBay. It's a little too big anyway, so I thought it would be perfect because I don't care about the condition after, and I love merino wool for hiking. This is a um, tank, a quick dry tank top from Decathlon, the store you guys have heard me talk about. This is, I'm not going to hike in this. I don't like hiking in tank tops because of the straps of my pack rub. This will be my sleep shirt. Oh, and obviously the clothes you just saw me wearing in the mirror are uh, the other t-shirt I have and one of the pairs of shorts I'm bringing. This is a bathing suit. This was a little bit of a splurge. Um, my first Camino, I just swam in a sports bra and shorts. Um, but since I'll be along the water and there might be some nice beaches, what beach-ish weather, I just decided to splurge and bring a bathing suit I picked up from Decathlon. So let's go to the pants. This is a pair of hiking pants. Well, I guess they're hiking. I'm not going to use them as hiking. I'm just going to use them as night pants for a chillier weather from Decathlon. They're jogger style, super lightweight, quick, quick dry. I love them. Um, no bulky pockets. I actually just like wear them out and about in general. I think they're super cute. Um, these are the same zip offs, I believe REI brand that I brought the last time. Yes, I am sticking with the zip offs because they're just so useful. I hope I still fit into them. <laughs> I've not tried them on again. Um, these are an amazing pair of shorts from Patagonia. I think I'm going to make a my favorite items for the Camino video about them. They are unbelievably lightweight. They don't show sweat, which is great. Have really good pockets. So Patagonia shorts. So I'm going to be alternating unless I need the zip. Unless I start the day with the zip off pants. I'm going to be alternating between these Patagonia shorts and the shorts I'm wearing that you saw in the mirror, which are actually from Lululemon. They are men's shorts, but the women's shorts for me all are way too short to be comfortable in hiking. Um, so I just prefer these Lululemon ones. And then these are a, a really small, lightweight pair of Patagonia shorts um, that I, for the third time now in a Camino, will use as sleep shorts and double as, you know, swimming shorts if I want shorts as well. Moving on to the socks. These are my trusty waterproof socks. I was hoping I wouldn't have to bring them because they are a little bit bulkier, but with rain in the forecast, I want the option to pair them with my hiking sandals, which saved me from soaking wet feet in Leon a few years ago. So brought those again. Then I have three pairs of uh, outer socks. There's the third one. These two are merino wool, but lightweight. These are in Gingy regular socks. Um, I found a really cool new combination of in Gingy socks I will make a video about after the Camino. So these are two pairs of normal in Gingy liners and one pair of the merino wool in Gingy liner. Is not counting these six pairs of socks overkill for five days on the Camino. Probably, but I don't want to start any days with wet socks, so I figure that's a place where I'm willing to sacrifice a little bit heavier, uh, more weight. These are my um, bras, so I have one here, the one I'm wearing, and then this is like one of my absolute favorite new buys. It's a merino wool, just really lightweight um, bra from REI. I think you could probably wear it for hiking. I'm going to use it as my nighttime bra. I really like the the shape of it. It's not as hideously unattractive as the other two that I use for hiking bras. Um, then I have a couple pairs of undies. I'm bringing four in total just for a five-day Camino. Then if I don't feel like doing laundry the last couple days, I don't have to. Um, these are my buffs. Um, I'm trying a different type of buff this time. They're basically half the size. I think they're called half buffs. I have two of those. They're basically half the size of a regular buff. However, when I tried it out on my 16 kilometer hike in Spain, in France, I was sweating so much that it was soaked. So I did pick up a full size, I guess, buff equivalent from Decathlon. Probably overkill, but I sweat so much when I'm hiking and I really don't want that getting in my eyes. And super lightweight again so worth it to me all right let's swing around this way this here is my sleeping sack same one on my third Camino I don't think they still make them anymore which is a bummer because I think this brand is awesome um, like zippers basically down the side and across the bottom kind of a heavier a little bit heavier of a weight for chillier nights 
um, but like easy in and out, lightweight, folds up little. Um, so really happy with this sleeping sheet. I think they're a sleeping bag liner. That's what it's called. This is a new addition. This is a travel blanket. It's a little, it's not heavy, heavy, but it is a little heavy. Um, it, it wasn't too expensive on Amazon. So if I need, well, I'm slipping here. If I need to dump it, I will. Um, but the, my last Camino, I spent one night wearing all of my clothes in the Atabergue because I was the only one. And it was like 55 degrees or less in July and it was freezing. So I figure, you know, better safe than sorry, I'm gonna bring it. And um, I also had wanted it on the plane. So we'll see how that goes. This is my travel towel, has a snap, which is really important. Make sure there's a snap loop on your travel towel because then you can just hang it from the clothesline to dry like that instead of taking up a ton of room draping your towel across. This is another smaller microfiber hair towel since my hair is really long this time for the Camino, which is the first time I've had it long. Um, and I wanna make sure I can get out of the shower quickly so other people can get in. I'm, the, again, this is my philosophy as a pilgrim. I carry more weight so that I don't inconvenience others. So this will be around my hair while this is around my body, allowing me to get out of the shower much more quickly. This is the towel that I will have clipped to the carabiner, you can see it, that I attached to my backpack that I will keep handy for the walk to wipe uh, excess sweat as mentioned previously from my eyes. <clears throat> All right, let's go up to my water bottle. One of my big splurges for the Camino, I don't remember if someone had recommended this brand to me when I made my luxury item for the Camino video and showed my Yeti. I mean, this is so lightweight compared to the Yeti, it's ridiculous. It keeps water ice cold. Um, it, it's great. I really wanted the 40 ounce size, but it didn't arrive in time before I left for the Camino. So this is the 32 ounce size. I think it should be enough. I'm gonna try not to buy another water bottle and cut off on, like keep weight down that way because I understand fill up points to be fairly easy in the Ingles. Um, and if I need to run into a store or something, I will, but for a Camino that's less, has less infrastructure, I would definitely want at least the 40 ounce hydro flask. I'll make a video again on Gearilla for the Camino on just on that, but I wanted to show you. These are the shoes I have decided to go with. I'm not going with the New Balance shoes, which just felt a little bit clunky and heavy for a five day Camino, even though they were really cushy. These are Topo or Topo brand, T-O-P-O. -O. And what attracted to me originally about them, in addition to the look, which I really like, is they have the very similar wide um, toe area to Ultras, but they don't have zero drop. So these are a five millimeter drop. Um, and I still can't figure out whether this part here bothers me. <laughs> I didn't have any blisters or anything, any rubbing after my long practice hike. Um, but we'll see. They have the hard, and again, I'll make videos, a video just about these, but they have a hard front area, which is great. Um, and seem to have decent breathability and are really comfortable. So I, yeah, and I think they're cute. These are men's, um, again, because I have massive feet, but they were on sale from REI because they're the version two and they just came out with version three, but Excited to use them and this is the shoe bag. I'll keep them in if I'm using these, which are my same keen, keen sandals I've had since my first Camino. Saved me a lot when my feet needed some breathing room because I didn't have enough room in my toes necessarily. Um, I'm so sad Keen doesn't make these anymore, but if you are buying hiking sandals, I highly recommend, again, a closed toe and a Velcro back for easy on and off because little stones, yes, do get in there and it is, yes, kind of annoying. Um, but at the end of the day, it's not that big of a deal. You just get them out and go on your way. So still love these Keens. Maybe they're overkill for this Camino, but I'll definitely appreciate having them if I wake up tomorrow and it's pouring rain and I need to get started with my waterproof socks. Okay, this is, I guess, a Cascade brand pole. Um, I left my beautiful cork handled REI hiking poles at my in-laws in France. <laughs> Funny story, but I uh, don't have them. So I actually reached out to the Camino network, all the Facebook groups I'm a part of, and someone was so nice to respond and say she had spotted a pair in the trash at her albergue that someone didn't want to bring. 
She actually had them hold them at the reception for me so I could come grab them, which I did in Santiago when I got there yesterday. So um, I think they look great. If these are yours, if you left them at the, I think it's Albergue Seminario, thank you so much. Uh, I'm hoping they hold up. Beggars can't be choosers, right? And I'm glad to not contribute to any more purchasing uh, waste and I'm going to of course redonate them when I'm back in Santiago so if anyone's going to be there Sunday or Monday and is looking for polls please let me know and we'll coordinate where I can drop them off for you um, but they I think they'll be just perfect for this five-day Camino Inglés and Cascade I think I saw that brand on Amazon but I'm not sure here are the hiking tips, Lecky brand, the only brand I recommend, they're amazing. When I picked up these poles, um, whatever tips were on there, just had a massive hole in the middle of them, and this tip here was poking through, so they weren't even doing their jobs. You gotta go with Lecky, and I have some extras as well. A couple safety pins can always come in handy if you have to pin stuff to your bag to dry more because it didn't dry overnight. These you can't tell, but they're extra mouthpieces for my drinking straw, which I will explain later. Um, yes, I have three brushes and combs, and I know y'all are going to give me some uh, crap for that, but as I've explained in my hair care video, my hair, and it's long, I meant to get a cut, and I just didn't. So my hair is so, so tangly and snarly um, that... Again, I wanna make sure I can be in and out of the shower as quickly as possible. So this is my pre-shower brush. And luckily, everything is super lightweight and this goes in one of the aforementioned side pockets of my bag, making organization easy. This is my pre-shower brush, my in-shower brush, and my in-shower comb. Uh, I know it's ridiculous, but it's hopefully gonna help me get in and out of the shower much more quickly than I would otherwise. All right, let me swing up here. So these are, it's a couple pouches that I bought, these gray and green pouches from Amazon. I really wanted a, a way to have places to stuff things for better organization. Um, this one back here houses just some odds and ends, cash and stuff that I'll keep in my bag. And then the one down here is more of like my first aid kit. It's way too full for a five day Camino, but I was just feeling lazy about taking out band-aids and stuff. So hopefully I can help out anyone who might need help. But just as a sample of what's in there is I have some some medicine, some anti-diarrheal just in case. Um, I have, what is that? That's uh, antacid, um, blister care, band-aids, bug, um, anti-itch stick. I got lit up in France, but I don't I did see mosquitoes on my Camino Inglés, but I don't tend to see mosquitoes here, so hopefully that won't be necessary. But that's my first aid kit, and the brand is Pack All. I'll try to post links for some of this stuff from Amazon below in case you guys are interested in checking anything out. Uh, we'll swing over here. So these are my two pairs of sunglasses. I always bring two after the incident in which I had a pair stolen. I still have to tell you all that story. I can't remember if I did already, but two pairs of sunglasses in cases. This is something I'm excited to try out, super lightweight. There are mini fans that actually plug into the bottom of your iPhone. Um, so in case it's hot, I don't think it's gonna be that hot, but uh, I just figured I'd bring them along anyway, and I have two. So again, great way to make a friend and be able to share that with somebody if they need it. This is my Four Monster Fanny Pack that I've reviewed before. Um, was wearing it all around all day today still really happy with the purchase and can't believe how much it holds for the size um this is my rain cover for my pack in case it rains this is the four monster backpack and you guys i just cannot believe i don't think i'd recommend this necessarily for a day pack because the, the straps aren't particularly strong unless you have really lightweight stuff but i was using this as i was traveling around europe for like my laptop books all this stuff i mean it was there was probably like 20 pounds or 25 pounds of stuff in it at one point and it held up for how tiny this is i just can't say enough about how strong it is so this brand is great i definitely want to check out some of the other stuff this is just a tiny um shopping reusable shopping bag which is what i take into the shower with me to put my clean clothes in and things like that um and then um like bring my shampoo and everything back out so that's really handy this is a new purchase. If you've seen my video about the scrubble wash bag, you know that 
I don't really think it's worth the price. It's heavy. The nubbies don't really do anything to my knowledge. So I ended up just using it as a soak bag, honestly. So this time I bought a Sea to Summit wet bag. I'm hoping it works the same. Again, haven't tested, but hopefully this will allow me to just fill it when I'm in the shower with water, some shampoo, soak my clothes, and then I can take them to the washing area when I'm done with my shower. Super lightweight and actually was cheaper than I thought because Sea to Summit is a pretty expensive brand usually. This is my headlamp. I forgot mine in the US, so I picked this up for 15 euros from Decathlon. They have them for five as well. I wanted one with the red light option just because it's less um, intrusive in the morning or at night for sleeping pilgrims. Um, this is my sun care section. I'm trying these out this time, new purchase here. They're actually sunscreen wipes. Um, I tried them a few times in France and seemed to work really well and they're plant-based, um, eco-friendly. So I'm excited to give those a try. I also have the, of course, less eco-friendly spray option, which is great for the legs, especially on the go. And then my Neutrogena, um, which I'll mostly use on my face. This <laughs> is a new purchase and one I feel very happy to have, um, because I was attacked by a dog on my last Camino and I didn't, I felt really, really like I lacked confidence the whole rest of the route and I was really scared. So especially too with the reports I've been seeing lately of men um, doing criminally inappropriate things next to women that they see on the trail. Um, I don't know if you guys have seen those reports, but either way, this is extremely loud and I'm very happy to have it. Hope I don't have to use it. <laughs> This is a mosquito uh, citronella band. I had one last time. Probably just hook it onto my backpack just for, just why not? I don't want to get any more bug bites. Um, let's see, let's walk back this way. This is my drinking system, which I love. I screw this cap onto my water bottle and it fits. And um, then this straw goes through and it swings around and I can drink it like as if I had a water or bladder, but this is just a lot easier to use in my opinion. Um, don't have to worry about a, batter, bat, a bladder taking up room in your bag or exploding. So I'm really happy with that. This is my S hook in case I need to hang my pack on a top bunk or anything like that, get it off the floor. Never a bad thing to have. My Garmin watch, which I love. I do not bring my Apple watch because it has to be charged all the time. One charge in this lasts like over two weeks. So really happy with it. Tells me how many steps I walked, how far, and the time. I'm, it has a lot more functions, but that's really what I use it for. The rest of my little electronics and their little carrying case, a couple cords, this, um, adapter which I really like it's a new adapter I think I wish it folded but it's smaller than my previous one um, it has two lightning cable plugs which I need now since I have a newer iPhone plus a couple it has basically everything you would need so I'll post a link below if you're interested um, I have two external chargers uh, that way I can help someone if they need one as well um, and this this one has a cord built in this one just plugs right into your phone so i like the two options and then this is a little stand for my phone if i feel like it was mostly for the plane but if i feel like watching anything on my phone which i'm sure i won't this is a new purchase this is a pea cloth um which i've heard people talk about and it's basically infused with antimicrobial silver so um it opens up let me see if i can open it up you use that to wipe instead of shaking or leaving or a Kleenex that you then, you know, are not sure what to do with. So if you have to pee on the go, I just thought that would be a good purchase to have just in case. Um, moving down here, these are my actual glasses for when I take my contacts out or in case I'm having any eye problems because I have terrible eyesight. So I definitely need glasses or contacts. My sleep mask, an actual mask just in case. I haven't seen them required anywhere, but you know, I've been around a lot of people, I've heard a lot of people who are coughing and I'm definitely not trying to get sick. So just in case I want that a packet of tissues, traditional ear plugs, um, which I don't think work great. They don't last long, they fall out. And then these, which are, 
I'm super happy with from a company called Happy Ears. Um, re they're reusable, they are eco-friendly, um, they stay in usually, so I will do a more in-depth review on how they survive the Camino s'mores when I'm done, um, but excited about that addition. Moving over here into my personal care section. Um, this is a night guard, have to bring that. Razor, um, travel toothbrush, I think I got it from Target. Travel toothpaste, I wear contact lenses, so I have to bring my supply that I keep in there. This is my one vanity item. Well, I guess the brushes too. Um, this is just a little bit of hair gel that I just put a little in my hair when I come out of the shower just so it does something. Now that it's long, so it's not looking too blah, blah. My, my little packet of dental floss. My wonderful toiletry kits from Matador, which I've reviewed in a previous video. This is the soap holder, and this is for face wash, shampoo, and conditioner. Um, my body cream, my face cream, and my clothes pins. Plus my SPF chapstick and a little tube of Vaseline. Um, my foot anti-blister, um, I guess product, I can't think of the word right now. Hand sanitizer. Eye drops, my eyes have gotten, like my contacts get really dry sometimes if it's dusty. So I found that's something that I missed on my first Camino for sure. A baby deodorant, um, not my favorite deodorant. I would have, I wish I could have brought my favorite deodorant, but I did want to bring a travel size and I know I'm going to smell anyway. So just grab this from, I think, Target again. Um, my nail file, highly recommend bringing a nail file. I hate having a little snag in my nail, so make sure to bring that. Um, a pen, a sewing kit, really the scissors and the needles are what you want from there. Um, these are my Velcro, my extra Velcro pieces. That That's how I put the patches in my bag. I don't wanna sew, I don't wanna iron so, or glue. So the Velcro works great for me. Um, money, credit card, passport, my little carrier for all my valuables that I do keep in my pack when I'm walking but always take with me when I drop the pack and go to the restroom. Highly recommend something like that. My credential will go in there as well. Um, and I do have an extra Ziploc bag for my credential if I need it. Um, then my Stevia, which I bring with me for my coffee. My snacks. Um, these are just things I got on the plane and saved, so I'll eat them at some point. And then I did a snack hack video where I talk about the AM um, bars by RX Bar. And I have just a couple of uh, Madeleines that I picked up in France. Not my favorite dark chocolate covered ones, but those will probably melt. And now I'm looking to see if there's anything else I forgot. I don't think I did. I think that covers it all as we're approaching 30 minutes. If you've stuck with me, congratulations. <laughs> um, and congratulations to, I guess, me too for not boring you to death. Um, and if you want to follow my journey on Instagram, make sure you're following Camino Stoke. That's the official Camino account I'm going to be using there. Wanderlusting Lawyer is more of a personal account. Um, so that's where I'm going to be posting most of my Camino related stuff. I may even venture into TikTok, but I can't promise that. Um, so yeah, let me know if you guys have any questions and I hope that is helpful. I can't wait to bring you guys content from the Camino Inglés starting tomorrow. All right, guys, take care and buen, buen Camino.